At the moment, we are just uh, we were informed that they were after us, a uh, few our husbands, and um, so we just managed to get because of the information together to this place and wait to see how how things roll. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Whether we're going to leave for a short while or stay and see it out, I don't know. I was told to uh, get out of uh, I'm just amazed that uh, they, uh, they pick a place like Chamonimani, small little community, and, and they even want to chase the few whites that there are there out of the place. <laughs> The intimidation, beatings, killings are likely to increase even even have a higher momentum because uh, uh, there you see an attempt by ZANU PF to try to beat everyone into submission. So they will actually have an intensity. I mean, the reports that we are receiving are frightening. So violence is not um, needed here, but unfortunately, as you may know, my surgeries were also attacked by MDC, destroyed totally. So that is the kind of violence which I think we may not be happy uh, to experience in our country. We want to build our country, we don't want to destroy our country. Because uh, it means that ZANU-PF is tampering with the delimitation exercise. Advised advocate Morris Morrison to go to the High Court and ensure that at least uh, we get an interdict on two areas. One is, of course, the question of nomination court, and the other is the availability of the delimitation report as well as the voters' role. These are two critical issues if you have to nominate people. What is in that voters' role? It's difficult to say with 